Hi there, this is Invasion. Today for you, I have an amazing Lightroom tip that will make you work faster, smarter and better. So, suppose I understand that you worked so hard editing your photo, you spent considerable amount of time, money and energy, because time is money, and, and you spend some time uh, working out the highlights, shadows, whites, blacks, clarity, everything, adjustment brushes, you spend a lot of time. Then suppose, if you want to create a different version of your edit, how do you make it? You want to keep that previous version that you spent time and energy in, you want to keep it intact. If you want to create another version, what do you do? I'm not talking about making copy. Alright, consider this. Suppose you edited the photo and you want to take a risk trying to make it black and white. You made it black and white and it's not looking as good. And there was a lot of steps involved and you cannot even go back to that place. And you don't want to go control Z again and again and again and again for like 200 times. If you wanted to save a certain stage as a setting, as a preset or something, how do you go about it? And this feature is not that much talked about in Lightroom. So without any further ado, let's get started. So in this image, as you can see, honestly, I didn't spend a considerable amount of time editing this. I just did for you guys in like five minutes. So if you're interested, this is the before, this is the after. All right, now here's the thing. If you wanted to make it black and white, but you don't didn't want to take a risk and you want to keep all these settings intact, what do you do? All right, make sure in the develop module and bring this out. Click on this, bring this out and watch this snapshots. Have you ever heard of snapshots? No, right? If you have, then all right, you can skip to the end of the video where I talk about another thing called virtual copies. All right, click on that plus icon and you can actually save it. It's just like color. All right, create it. Now here's the thing. This setting will be saved specifically for this image. So whenever you open this image, there will be a snapshot called color. I need to shoot the birds. Just give me a break. All right, all right, so that's, she's gone. He's gone. I don't know what the gender of the bird was, but let's come back. So where were we? All right, color. Now, if you wanna make it black and white, if you go ahead and choose black and white from here, and if you make all the adjustment that's required, maybe you wanna increase the, decrease the blacks just a little bit, maybe you wanna increase the highlights a little bit, whatever you did, you did a lot of settings, you played with the black and white mix, all right? You did all of that stuff. And then you want to save this as well. You click on the plus button. All right, save it black and white or BW, whatever you want. Let's click create. Then watch. Here I have both of the versions. If you click on color, you have it. If you click on black and white, you have it. That way you kind of save stages of edit in Lightroom. You remember playing that game like you used to play games when you were small, right? You, there was a kind of mission game and there was, uh, and when you open the games, there was an option called saved games. What was saved games? When you click on saved games, you had that particular levels. Okay, I've completed th this level, say level one. So I'll start from level two. You don't have to start all over again. And if you made a mistake in level two, you can always go back and start from a checkpoint. So that's what we are doing. Also, this can be helpful in saving like different versions. All right, now let's talk about one more thing. Suppose you want to have two versions separately and you want to save them separately. Would you click both the versions, save it once, click the other version, save it again? No, here's what you got to do. Go to the library panel if you want to. Let's open the grids, press G to open the grids. All right, right click on it and select create virtual copy. And once you click on it, there will be, as you can see, a virtual copy of it created. Now, what is a virtual copy? This means that the image in your hard drive or wherever your image is, it won't be actually copied. It won't be actually duplicated. What will happen is the settings will be duplicated and it will show in Lightroom as if there were two images, but actually the space is not increasing. The image is still the one it's using the same source to create two different sections, two different images in the catalog, but actually it's one image. Now you can do whatever you want. You have two copies of the image. You can make as many as versions of the image as you would. So that's pretty much it for this video. If this video helped you, if you're watching this on Facebook, like, love, and that smile one. Don't press the hate reaction. If you're watching this on YouTube, 
you know what to do press that bell button if you haven't pressed it yet and like button also share it love it whatever you want do it i'll see you guys in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating